So hi, we're here at uh, Genia Tech, and what are you showing here? Uh, a dragon board based on the Snapdragon 410. So you're making a Qualcomm product right here, development board on a 96 board uh, size. Uh, a little bit bigger, uh, because of we found out that uh, a lot of uh, developers uh, they need the Ethernet, so we add the uh, uh, Ethernet port on the board. A full size Ethernet. Yep. Is this a uh, hundred or gigabit? Uh, one hundred. One hundred, and uh, you have a special power also. Uh, yeah, the power is a standard power adapter, so you uh, it's a wide range of power, so you can uh, use an existing power adapter. Uh, this is a different volt, uh, different amp, or something like a, like a standard power adapter? Yes, the standard power adapter. So, um, you're reaching out to developers? Yeah, but uh, that is uh, not, not uh, uh, the, uh, the service that we can, uh, we can provide to developers. Also, uh, we have our own factory, so we can, uh, together with the developers, start uh, uh, providing uh, this kind of board, as well as uh, we can make a mass production together with the developer company. So basically, the developers can, can work with your board, and then from there, you can quickly help them to mass production of many different ideas, right? Yeah, I also can uh, uh, customize the, this board and remove some components that are not useful for them, and um, do the uh, custom optimization, and do uh, supply the accessories together uh, <coughs> and with our supply chain. And that is to say, we are the one-stop uh, solution provider for this kind of a service. So what's awesome about it is, is everything is open source. Mm -hmm. A lot of developers already on the Dragon board. Mm -hmm. Even the GPU is there's open source GPU. Yeah. There's a free Drino. Yeah. People can do very optimized Linux. Yeah. Not only Android, a lot of things can happen. Uh, Android, uh, Linux, and the Windows 10 IoT core. That's that's awesome. There's a lot of things possible with this with this platform right here. Yeah. And. Uh, um, uh, so, so you have this kind of expertise. You are, you have, the, you have experts in your company who are quick at helping customers customize new ideas. Yeah, um, both on the hardware side and the software side. And a special case, if they want. Yeah. You can make nice case. You nice can make case, plastics, aluminum, and also the packaging, the menu, the accessories, the cables. What if they want to do robots? If they want to do drones, if they want to do... Okay, yeah. so drones, the, the, there is another product. Uh, <clears throat> we have a, a product called the Dronecast. That is the um, uh, caster board uh, with the HDMI input and uh, encoded it and uh, modulated with um, a COFDM and sent to uh, RF. Okay, let, let's go over there. You have, a, you have over there? Let's, let's go over here. So right here you are showing some, uh, what is the idea with the drone cast? Drone cast and the, the, the limitation of the existing uh, caster solution for drones is uh, they are using Wi-Fi and the distance uh, is, a, is a problem. So right now we are using uh, COFDM, uh, COFDM and then we can transfer uh, longer distance or higher, uh, higher resolution and the low latency. So uh, HD video? Low latency wireless transmitter and receiver. What is this? Is it? What? Why did you show this? Is it GVB solution? Uh, yeah, it, it, it utilizes the existing technology like a DVB-T, and uh, we have the receiver, which is uh, can be used, uh, which can be used by the existing mobile phone that you can use a mobile phone or tablet as a display. That's that's awesome. So you're the number one. Uh, biggest uh, what's called expert in this kind of field with the uh, uh, DVB uh, tuners, right? Yeah. So that's uh, why you know how to do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we, we do a TV tuner technology uh, related the product for more than ten years. More than ten years. So uh, this is interesting. The, so is this a development board or what is this? Uh, it's a f uh, first revision of our hardware. It's not a development board. It's a it's a ready to mass production board. What is the CPU? Actually, it, it has um, an encoder chipset from uh, ITE. So it encodes uh, video smoothly, to, HD video? Uh, HD video uh, via H.264 and uh, modulated to DVB-T. Nice. Uh, is it ARM? Is it ARM-based? Uh, yeah, ARM, ARM9. 
Arm 9. Cool. Awesome. And uh, this is another development board. This is. Yeah. Uh, when did you release this one? Uh, it's already released. Uh, this board is um, is a full function um, and a scalar board together with a smart board, Android based, uh, based on the chipset from MLogic S12. It has a dual channel LEDs, as well as uh, has a camera, TV tuner, HDMI input, and GPIO and power audio amplifier a lot of stuff on board so who's uh, who, who would buy this and what kind of product they will do um, mostly uh, for digital signage uh, can drive the big display and can run uh, uh, high uh, high performance uh, application especially for video uh, they need the high quality video decoding nice do you also show the netstream air here yeah. You have it here? Right here. Uh, so what kind of products are you, sh are you talking about here? Uh, there. Over there. Over there. Okay. So just fitting out everything into the video. Okay. Let's, let's grab it out. So this is a VIXS uh, CPU. Vixis. Yeah, Vixis. So what is this about? Uh, it's a very, very innovative, uh, innovative product that uh, catch the free-to-air digital TV and uh, re-encode it and transmit it to the network. Then uh, every, uh, every device, each device of your uh, of your home, like a smartphone, tablet, uh, computer, and uh, Android TV box, uh, and Amazon uh, Amazon uh, Fire. That also can uh, all of them can run the application and uh, get the free-to-air uh, TV signal. How many channels at the same time? Uh, this one. Uh, this is one, and yeah. another one is for four. Is it the Net TV there or uh, the ITV? Yeah, the ITV Netstream. And what CPU in there? Uh, also Vix is another another CPU. So Vix has a good encoding solution. Yeah, they call that uh, transcoding. Transcoding. That is the decoding and the re-encoding. All right, uh, cool. And uh, let's let's check the, the screen you have right here. Uh, what is this about? Uh, it's a uh, Android all, all in one. Uh, what platform? Uh, M Logic. M Logic. Uh, so you have everything in, in embedded in there. It's a uh, Geniatech Android all in one. How big is the screen? It's a 23, 23 inch. 23 inch, full HD. Full HD. As and, the, and the benefit is is a is a combo device. It has a digital TV a tuner inside, so it's a it's a TV. It's a small size TV, as as well as a, no no signal here because the antenna yep. is not there. So it's tuner. It's TV. You can put it in the kitchen or in. In the um, bedroom, bedroom, kitchen, kids' room. How's the price? Is is a good price? Oh uh, yeah, retail it, will be good. Uh, very good. It's um, it's only a little bit more than uh, than uh, than the mobile phone. A little bit more than mobile phone. But, uh, much bigger than the mobile phone. A little bit more than the TV. Uh, less than TV, because of the size is smaller. All right. Cool. All right. So a lot of things you are doing. A lot of new things is happening all the time in Genia Tech. <laughs> we have to. All right. And uh, I think I expect. I guess you have many more things coming. Yeah. Many many new ideas all the time. Yeah. We uh, also we like to do so. And your customers are coming with even more ideas for you. So that means you are always busy, <laughs> right? <laughs> to 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 be able to do everything. Uh. Yeah. All right.